In this video, I want to talk about how to leverage video, especially on social media. So if you haven't figured it out by now, we've been talking about how video is a game changer. It can be for your business if you just embrace it. So in this lesson, I want to cover a few reasons why, if you're not already convinced to start doing more video, we're going to talk a little bit about equipment, some videos to get you started right now. I'm going to challenge you to go out and start making some videos. I'm going to give you a list of videos that you could do starting today. And then we'll finish up with how to repurpose those videos and how to really leverage it on social media. Okay, a few reasons why. Number one, search engine optimization. It just really does increase your opportunity to show up in the search results. Specifically, if you're using YouTube, YouTube is owned by Google. If you do it, if you learn the proper way to optimize your videos for YouTube, thinking keywords and using things like tags and titles and just a bunch of things that you can learn in our YouTube course, by the way, um, your videos can show up in people's search results, especially if you start doing more and people start liking them and it's all part of the magic algorithm. The second big reason is social media platforms love video and they want you to upload your videos or go live on their platforms, not share your YouTube video. So it's native video. They love it. Everybody's competing for video space on all the platforms. So this is why you want to do it. One of the main reasons it allows you to create and share consistently. Um, once you get into it, it's the best way to get your expertise and for you to develop that niche for yourself. And it really does drive real time results. And at a time when people are seeking out connection and sharing stories, video helps humanize you and your brand. So if, if that hasn't convinced you enough already, here's a couple quick stats. 85% of marketers say that video is an effective way to get attention online. Viewers claim they retain 95% of a message when it's obtained via a video. All right. So you don't need any more reasons why you already know video is powerful. Here's the thing. You just have to get past this is how I look and this is how I sound. I know I've been doing this for like five, six years now. And in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, this, I can't do it. Right. And that's what our biggest hang up is, is we're uncomfortable with it. The only way to get better is to just do it. Let's just face it. This is how I felt. This is how everybody feels. The first 10 to 20 videos, you're, you're going to hate them, but you're going to get better. The only way you get better, the only way you master anything is through practice, right? Uh, all right, so let's talk a little bit about equipment. Don't run out and buy the fancy camera setup and all that. You don't need that. You really can simply start with your phone. Okay. As long as you're using a smartphone, an iPhone or an Android, the latest, I should say the latest model of those, they have powerful cameras and it's going to be able to do everything that you need. Now I am going to recommend a couple other pieces of inexpensive equipment because it's all about number one, your audio. So consider getting either a, a mic or a lavalier mic, a wireless mic that can attach to your smartphone. Okay. They're really relatively inexpensive. Just do an Amazon search. Um, you also need to get a tripod or a gimbal or some other stabilizer. If you're going to sit and not just always hold, even if you're holding and walking around, a gimbal will help you. There are many tripods. You can get a gimbal for about 150 bucks, a really great one. You can get tripods for $20, $30. Okay. These are inexpensive things and it's going to make your videos look better. And then if you're doing shooting outside, you generally aren't going to need any lighting potentially it just depends on the time that you're shooting. But if you're doing some things indoor, you may want to look for a couple of the lighting, uh, configurations that can attach to your phone that are easy to use for a phone or for a tripod setup, like a ring light and some of those ideas. Okay. So equipment, no big deal. All right. Let's talk about video ideas to get you started. Well, first thing, and just, just, even if you just did this, it's going to be a game changer. It's do an intro about you and your services video. Why? Because you can put it everywhere. It can be on all your social. Remember when you're doing the listing uh, profiles for like Zillow and realtor.com, there is a place, there is a URL to put a video in there. And that video ought to be about you and who you are and what services you provide. It's going to let people connect with you. So consider doing that as your number one first video. And that's where you may want to get a little help and make sure the lighting is right. It's not on the fly and in the moment that one you might want to do a little bit more production value on. 
All right, and moving on, uh, the rest of these can be just shot how in the moment and just get better at it. I think people prefer to see you authentic and real than, you know, to with the production being too, you know, professional, okay? Other than that intro video. All right, so real estate market updates. This is one of the best things that you can do on a monthly basis is just to talk about for your community what's happening nationally, bring it on down into what is happening in your state and down into your city. What are the trends? What does that mean to potential buyers and sellers? And you can even go hyper local and go a little bit further down with neighborhood updates. If you, if you farm a geographic area, then do videos about that. Next video, do a walkthrough of, of your new listings. Always do that uh, where you're on camera in the beginning, you're doing a voiceover. Not only is that going to be great for your channels, all your social channels from YouTube to Facebook and so forth, it's going to also have an opportunity for you to uh, use that in your marketing for your listings and stand out from other agents who aren't doing that. Some people aren't even doing a 3D tour. They're just doing that stitch together panorama tour uh, for, you know, from their photos. All right. Next type of videos are just simple one minute real estate tips, literally one minute tips. You can think of endless things in your day that can be think evergreen questions. What do clients ask you all the time? What happens if the deal falls apart? What happens to my deposit or earnest money? Uh, people love behind the scenes as well. You know, what are you doing today? Everything that you're out and about doing today, there is generally many videos and images if you're if just to grab photos and stuff for your channels, but you have opportunities to go live, to do quick videos that just answer common questions. This is how you start building up a library. If you have new construction in your area, new home tours are awesome. Connect with the builder, see what you can and can't do. A lot of them are okay with you advertising. They just don't want you to represent them like you work for them. So be careful in mentioning names and just get the rules of, of the road there when you are advertising local home builders. Next one, a business spotlight. Man, we are all about that here. Uh, spotlighting local businesses. That's what we are. We're local business owners. So be involved and be a community leader and an influencer by at least doing a monthly local business spotlight in the area that you serve. You can now tie that into your monthly newsletter. It's going up on your channel and you're not just always talking about real estate. This is what this is where the fun begins and things that you can do where it's 80, 20, 20% promotional, 80% real estate related or community related. The 20% coming up next, client testimonials. When you can get a client to do a video testimonial with you, that would be wonderful. Get them standing in front of the house when, they, when they're giving them the keys and ask them if they'll just do a quick testimonial. Let them have editorial reviews so they're comfortable with the way it looks, okay? You might get people to do that more in the moment. They're very elated about getting into their home. Even if it was a tough transaction, they're going to be happy to, to move in. Other ideas, community events and things to do in your city. Here's an idea. You could do something where 52 fun things to do in our hometown. And every week, honestly, wherever you choose to live, you could do something once a day and have 365. And I'm not asking you to do that. I'm, I'm saying consider doing one thing a week that you can just do a quick video on about uh, things to do in your, in your city. Um, so that's in the moment. It can also be special events that are happening. Uh, it could be concerts. It could be whatever. Okay. Another idea do for your open houses, do an open house tour with a video, like a preview, and then invite people to your open house or go live right before your open house and invite people to, to come out and visit you as well. And the last two I just want to talk about is if you're using Facebook or Instagram, be in the moment with your stories or reels, um, uploading native video, not just to stories, to both those platforms, also to LinkedIn. If you're using LinkedIn, if you're using Instagram, the longer videos can go on to Instagram TV. Again, it's about choosing your platform, but there is so much opportunity for video. All right. Just start doing them. Start with your intro video. Now, how do you leverage your videos once you've get them, you know, in your phone <laughs> and you're going to get them done on the fly now? You can get some different apps that can go with iMovie if you're an, an app, an Apple user, but there are simple editing, movie editing software that you can get that you could do right on the fly. 
you could obviously transfer your videos to your desktop and work on them if you needed to be able to do any kind of editing whatsoever or better yet outsource that find the virtual assistant who can help you with the editing of videos because think of it the time consuming piece is the editing and the posting and so forth specifically to youtube and facebook if you're doing um, you know, Instagram and Reels and so forth. You, you got to do that in the moment yourself, in my opinion. Um, but on the other things, you could hire somebody to help you with it. You're the talent, you go create the video, but you got to have a game plan for getting it uploaded. All right, so what do you do? You now have your videos. You definitely, if you're doing video, you want a YouTube channel. Now, if you're shooting videos for YouTube, uh, unless you're going to start playing with the new beta of YouTube Shorts, which is what YouTube is doing to compete with TikTok and Reels and so forth. It's in beta and those are the only time really vertical videos are going to look good on YouTube. So you want to generally only put YouTube videos on that you're shooting in landscape. Otherwise, they're going to look a little bit weird with the sidebars and it's not, it's not meant for YouTube. Vertical video is meant for Facebook and Instagram, okay? But you're going to put your videos generally up on the YouTube channel and upload them, right? You're going to use all the search engine optimization, all the tips that you need to do. Again, go take our other courses on how to do YouTube and how to do Facebook and Instagram for real estate and LinkedIn for real estate. Choose your lane. You want to upload those videos on Facebook and LinkedIn if those are channels that you're using. Remember, once you have video, you can boost these um, and run ads through Facebook or Instagram. You have great content to add into your monthly newsletter. That's another way to repurpose your videos. I do that every single month with the monthly market update. Then of course you can post videos to your website. Better yet, if your website has a built-in blog, which it should have, create a blog post and post that. So you create the blog post, your video, text content, publish it, grab that link, and then go put that on social media uh, because that's going to drive people back to your website. And here is a great idea for people that are doing a newsletter. Take your newsletter that you send out as an email, turn it into a blog post, a blog post including your video, publish it, now grab that link and send a text to everybody in your database saying, hey, don't know if you caught my monthly market update. I just emailed it to you in case you didn't see it. Here's a link to it on my blog you'll get engagement with text if people want to know what's happening in the market, okay? With, with um, especially if you've been providing great content every single month, people do like to look at those. All right, that is enough for now on getting going with video. Uh, in the workbook for this module, we have included some additional information and some, if you need more inspiration on uh, things to do for real estate videos, we've uh, linked to some of our favorite blog posts from around the real estate industry talking about you know another hundred things you can do for video for real estate the ideas aren't the problem it's the execution so start small just start and start with a quick introduction video for yourself and, and get some use out of that all right we'll see you in the next lesson